Oh boy, are you singing, Ricky, or is that? Dude, it's a cicada. I never seen this before. It's a cicada singing, huh? I caught one before, but never sing like this. All right, let me show you how they make their noise, guys. This is a cicada. They have right here. They've got these two big gray-looking things. And what they do is they rattle. They they rub those against. They're hollow. It's just like a percussion, like a drum. And they rub they rub their legs against it and it gives off that little sound. Dude, it vib vibrates in my hand. It's vibrating. Vibrate. Yeah, yeah. That's so cool. Now, check out, let me show the dorsal side here. They go. The other side. We've got this white band here. This is a species of cicada. I don't know the species. I'm going to try and find it for you guys. But they've got these white spots on the abdomen, which is kind of unique. Uh, I don't see those up on the mainland. Uh, I don't like that. Been, no. I've never seen this so, That is a cool little cicada that we have here. And he just like literally just came and smacked me right in the head because I have the headlamp on. <laughs> so, it also has a little little spots in the, I don't know if you can yep, get it with the Spots uh, on the abdomen there. No, in the, te in the, in the wings. Yep. On the oh, wings. yeah, little yeah, spots yeah. On the wings. Little spots on the wings. All right, guys, right here, that moth right there, it's called a, it's a Pactes. And um, there's a whole genus of them. There's like, I think there's like six or seven of them that live in the Keys. And this, this is a genus that there's a lot of confusion about, guys. It's, I know genus Pactes, oh, where'd he go? Um, we're going to try and harvest some of these specimens so that we can positively identify them. I don't know where he went. Oh, we got something else here. This one. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Sphinx? Oh, it's just food this way. No way. It's just, I think it's here. Is yep. It yep, yep, yep. Sphinx? No, that's a, uh, no, that's, um, nope. <laughs> he is, he feeds on poison wood. That's a, a, a notodonid that feeds on poison wood. Guys, this moth right here, oh, I just forgot this light is too bright for doing this. Oh, there's a butterfly. Hey guys, check it out. There is actually a Cassius blue. Oh my God, look at that. Cassius blue butterfly right there on the uh, cord. Oh, here's the one. Yep, it's Cassius blue. And I saw one of the little green, oh, there he is. There's a green, little green geometrid. We saw one of his caterpillars earlier. And there's the green little geometrid moth. That's a, a cool group, guys. Cool group. And well, I'll, I'll try and get as many identifications for you as I can. Um, this is super exciting because bugs are starting to roll on in. I love the keys, guys. I love the keys. All right, here we go. Here's a... Here is a Melipotus prolata, I think. He's got a little chipped up wing. It's the one with the white hind wing. Melipotus species. Oop. These guys are sensitive. Oh, is he landing with his what wing open here? Yeah, a little bit. He's got his little white. Oh yeah, I can see some there. Yep. Okay. Check it out. Butterflies at the lights. <laughs> Leptotes Cassius, Cassius blue. Bingo. What's that? Oh yeah, you have a jar? Yeah. All right, yeah, this is the Pactes. These guys, they're so similar to each other that the only way to really identify them and, and with any kind of real, you know, certainty is to get them in a jar and mount them and then we'll identify them because they're so similar. There's like seven species. Rick, go ahead and get him in a jar, buddy. Yep, go for it. Get him. Okay. We're going to harvest just a couple of moths, guys. We're not going crazy. We're, we're getting stuff that's valuable for our project and uh, we're going to see what species that is and we'll let you know what it is when we can okay guys uh so we've been away from my light setup for a, a couple hours like an hour maybe and the cool thing is right here oh look, 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 look. two black witches oh hold here. on yeah 
This is Protambulux strigillus. Guys, this is Protambulux strigillus or carteri, depending on who yeah, you talk to. Or depending on who you talk to. Let's see, he's got the orange hind wings. He's got the streaks. All right, that's so that's, one. yeah. That's a fresh one. That's a fresh one. All right, so that's a good one, man. That's a, a common moth. They feed on poison wood. So. Let's see if I can try it. Yep. I'm the wing. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Come here, baby. There he is. Look at that. Let me, let me screenshot that. Look at that thing. My fingers in the way. <laughs> and look okay. what I have here. Good. And a, and a blue butterfly there for you. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I'm gonna let it go. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah, I'm gonna let this one go. It should be on the tree. On the main. Right on the uh, tamarind? Tamarind, no mandarin. Oh, or, he's got other ideas, Rick. No, no, no. Oh She's my. gonna make it. She's oh, he... gonna make it. She's gonna make it. Guys, I'm excited. There's a lot of moth activity going here, guys. They are floating around here. And the cool thing is we get to see the black witch moths, Ascalafa odorata. Here's a female, guys. Check out the female black witch. They have this incredible purple band, clear color or cream colored band there with, with purple. I don't know if you can see it. And the wind is, oh, there you go. You see the purple light up, right? See that purple light up? So here's a neat one here. Look at this pyralid moth. Oh, look at that. Beautiful oh, pyralid. Beautiful. Love these guys. Offhand, I don't remember the Latin name, but beautiful moth. We got another pyralid here. We've got some great moths starting to fly in. Oh, what is this? What are you? 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 You gonna land? There you go. Huh? Uh? Uh? Oh, Edward's eye. Okay, he's common. It's a it's a Arctiad. Limeyer Edward's eye. Okay. So. The moths are rolling on in. Oh, here's a nice beetle. Nice beetle here. Okay. Some cool dragonflies. Great mine. Oh, look at this. <laughs> they love me, bro. Hold on, stay right there. Oh, that's a cool thumbnail. Yes, sir. Oh, how cool. It's a male, right? That's a male. Very cool, bro. Oh, they're having fun, huh, Rick? I'm loving this. <laughs> having fun. Black witches everywhere. Uh, here's a here's a little. Oh, looky, looky, looky. What is oh? Oh, this one's coming home with daddy. This one's coming home from with daddy right here, guys. This right here, guys. Hmm. I've only ever seen one of these before. This is Gonadonna uh, Biden's. Nothing to do with the president. Gonadonna Biden, okay? It's a, it's a, it's a moth that feeds, I believe, on the uh, Anona species of trees in the Anona family. And this is a good one, guys. I'm going to um, harvest this specimen for certain. And we're gonna do a mount, a catch and mount video on Gonadonna Biden's inside. It's got this really pretty little orange hindwing, which I'm not gonna show you right now. He's got a cute little white face. Oh, good, good sphinx moth here too. Woo! Paragonia lusca. <laughs> okay, guys, we've got, we've got Paragonia lusca, the half blind sphinx. Uh, it's a gorgeous little moth down here in the Florida Keys. Fantastic moth, guys. This moth right here feeds on rough velvet seed, and uh, it's it's a great, 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 great moth. Um, only lives down, only lives in Florida, only in southernmost Dade County and Monroe County, and it feeds on 
rough velvet seed. Now, I've seen these guys also in Costa Rica, so they do live uh, elsewhere, but in Florida, this is it. You know, there's a, another species that looks pretty similar called uh, the Sagra Sphinx, and um, they feed also feed on rough velvet seed, but the Sagra Sphinx has got these really beautiful little yellow banding on the hind wing. Uh, this guy has more like a, 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 an orange blotch on the hind wing. We're gonna show you more of these guys in, in, uh, in the collection room. Uh, and so I don't wanna disturb this guy too much, but this is a really good moth right here, guys. Not very commonly found. The half blind sphinx is a good one. So goody, 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 goody. Bruja Negra. Bruja Negra coming at you here. <laughs> That's a big fresh one, huh? Yep. Good, 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 good. All right, guys, Black Witch is coming out. We've got um, Portambulux coming out. Here, I've got, I believe it's a male. This, this moth right here, guys, is a very, oh, there he goes. Oh, he's gonna sit there. Okay, well, that moth was uh, Calidota laqueta, which is a very rare moth, but very worn. If it was a female, I would take her home and try and get eggs, but uh, it's not. So, it's a, a worn, worn male. This guy here is a pretty cool one. This is Tyrissia multilinea. Let me see. Any wonder why they call it multilinea? It's a pretty moth. That's a good one, guys. This is just a, this is a tropical species. So that whole genus, the Tyrissia genus is a tropical genus. Um, it's a good one. There's two of them that live in the Florida Keys from the genus Tyrissia. That's the common one. What is this? That is a very common, common dude. And that's a bee. <laughs> and we got dragonflies, we got beetles. We got more beetles. Sphinx moth over here? We got sphinx moth over there. Let me see if there's anybody hanging out inside. Oh, there's an, there's an ichneumon wasp. Oh, I hate this thing. Oh, I do too. They, these guys eat our io moths. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Anybody inside of here? I don't see anybody. Got a little black witch over here. More black witches? Okay. Yep. Oh. No windy. windy. Windy, windy, windy. Let me see if I can fix this a little bit. Yeah. Okay, guys, what I'm going to show you right now is Ricky's got what he's calling a dump jar. Yep. And so the purpose for a dump jar is when you have three or four jars that you've been collecting with and they start to get full, which that happens. You have a big jar, which after things pretty pretty much dead, you dump them in, and then later on, you can go into your dump jar and put everything in paper or pins or, or however you curate your stuff. Mm -hmm. but, uh, so look, show me what's in that dump jar here. So not a lot, guys, just a couple bugs. No, we're not collecting much. We're not collecting much, just a couple moths. That The Gonadonna uh, Bidens is probably the best moth in there. Uh, and then the Paragonia Lusca, the half blind sphinx. It's a good representative specimen. So, um, guys, we got more traps to set up, so we're gonna go do that now. Okay. Hey, guys, so. Zero sleep. Zero oh. sleep. Zero sleep. <laughs> I, I think I got about an hour in my truck. Yeah, you got a little bit. I got a little bit, but guys, um, Ricky, so culmination on the night for uh, at the light sheets, where we, we saw a whole bunch of sphinx moths, right? Lots. So, a lot of loves. we got lots of black witches. We saw some io moths. We saw three giant sphinx. That we was... got 
That was amazing. That was amazing. Pink spot hawk moths. We saw two or three. Come. We got two of those. Two of we those. got xylophanes Pluto, xylophanes Tursa. We've yep. got um, Lusk, Paragonia Lusca. Yep. We've got lots of Grodii. They were everywhere. Mm -hmm. We got um, Elo Sphinx, Phryxus Caicus. We got um, Arenus Alopi, the Alopi Sphinx. The, um, we got uh, one Arenus Obscura. We got to do them. Put all the names on the We got to put all the names on. Yeah. yeah, yeah we yeah. got, you got a white line sphinx. White line sphinx. We've yeah. got uh, Pr Protambulux strigillus. And, you know, like, uh, I, we may be missing some, but guys, that's a lot of sphinx moths. Yep, yep, yep. That is really, really good. So, <coughs> I swallowed a few bugs. Um, so, guys, um, <coughs> we're going to create a, a comprehensive list of all the things that we identified throughout our night here in North Key Largo and look up for upcoming videos to show you some more action from our time here. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Um, we're not done yet because we still got to go get our bucket light traps. That's going to be a whole nother video. Uh, but guys, stay tuned. Sorry, my hands are full. I think I got a new species of geometric to our, to our project. So We've got 600 moth species. If you want to check out our moths list for the Florida Keys, we've got over 600 species listed. You check it out. Keysmoths.com. Uh, links in the bio. We're, we're finding new stuff all the time. Uh, we had a little bit of a hiccup through COVID, but we're back at it. We're back down here in the Florida Keys, and I'm going to add 601. i got to find out, find out what the heck it is, though. Uh, I don't recognize it. So, guys, stay tuned. Uh, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Take care.